In a long-awaited decision, the Oklahoma Supreme Court ruled against a 2021 quarantine policy from Edmond Public Schools. The plaintiffs in the case telling News 4 they believe the decision could impact how Oklahoma schools handle future health emergencies. News 4's Ashley Moss is reporting for us tonight. Ashley. Jolene, the district required unvaccinated students to quarantine for longer periods of time if they were exposed to COVID, saying they could just learn online. But in the ruling, the court defined attendance as in-person physical attendance, then said treating students differently based on their vaccination status was unlawful. The Supreme Court um, sided with um, our view of the Edmond Public Schools could no longer discriminate against our children. This is not just for the parents. This is for a victory for all the students and teachers. The Oklahoma Supreme Court siding with these parent plaintiffs in the 5-4 to four ruling, saying, quote, while it appears that district's intention was to curb the spread of COVID-19, the policy effectively prohibits unvaccinated students from attending school when exposed to COVID-19 because of their COVID-19 vaccination status. We never advocated to have uh, sick kids uh, with COVID attend school. They were treated quite differently on account of their vaccination status. The decision circling back to a particularly polarizing time as schools scramble to enforce what they viewed as pandemic safe policies. An effort co-plaintiff Emily Geralt said was detrimental. Our children were suffering from severe uh, physical, emotional, psychological effects of these quarantine practices. Edmond Public Schools sending news for a statement saying in part, quote, we are disappointed in the result. Legal counsel for the district will be meeting with the superintendent and board of education to discuss the ruling. We want to work with our Edmond Public Schools. We're hopeful that uh, Superintendent Grunewald and the Edmond uh, School Board will, uh, will be more inclined to listen to dissenting opinion when they're formulating uh, policies that might, uh, might be a little bit controversial. And just over three years after it began, the COVID national emergency is expected to end earlier than its original May expiration date. As both the Senate and the House passed resolutions, the bill now heads to President Biden's desk.